Okay, we're gonna have a question period now, 20 minute question period. I'm gonna start with an anonymous question. In relation to proposed workshops, we already have issues with turnout. Is adding more events really a priority? So that's a great question. Um, I think that you can look at it in a few ways. So international students do struggle every day to, uh, to get involved in the school. And there's no workshops that specifically target them and helping them overcome their everyday challenges. And I think that the incorporation of these events with working with the CDC could really help us and help them to get more involved. And they would ultimately benefit from the creation of these. Thank you. In relation to proposed workshops, we already have issues with turnout. Is adding more events really a priority? I don't think that this is basically an event for just the people on council. I hope that this event would be for people who aren't involved and that encourage those who aren't involved to get their feet wet with the CSA, to get them get their get their face out there, get them to meet the people on council so they feel more comfortable. And I feel like the CSA needs some sort of event like that because it is. It's very intimidating walking into that office or going to business banquet all alone. It is. And I feel like going to these ca to a casual event like the one that I'm suggesting, I feel like that is important to get people out there and get people to see be a friendly face to everyone. Okay, any questions from the floor? So this is specifically regarding your proposed uh, hub night. Um, do you believe it's wise to spend students' money on offering free alcohol to the student, uh, ask for student body instead of on educational initiatives? Uh, please comment on the unrealistic promise encouraging binge drinking. Well, I don't think bin one drink is binge drinking, but um <laughs> Uh, it, I did look at the numbers, and it will only cost the CSA approximately $3,000. And the CSA has a lot of money sitting in the bank account and with profits year after year. And I feel that, this, that, uh, I feel that we have to give back to the students and give them an opportunity to come out to these events so it's not so intimidating. And I feel like a free drink isn't too much to ask. And, yeah. Okay, a question anonymously. Uh, this role advocates for all undergrad students and takes a high level of discipline and maturity. What experiences do you have to prove you can achieve this? Um, so that is a great question again. So I do have a lot of experience advocating for students specifically on a university level. Um, as the French representative for the university, as I mentioned in my speech, I dealt every day with advocating for students and sharing their thoughts with the faculty and their concerns. My main priority was changing their lives and making their days a little bit easier. And if I have the opportunity to incorporate that into the Asper School of Business, I, I would be humbled, so thank you. This role, this role advocates for all undergrad students and takes a high level of discipline and maturity. What experiences do you have to prove you can achieve this? Well, I can say that after being a manager at a water park, I feel like I've gained valuable experience through managing people and just organizing events in general. And I feel like uh, with my experience through my work ethic, being an actuarial student, and the amount of time and dedication I spend here at Asper, I feel like I can advocate for all the students here and not just the few that are involved. And yeah. Thank you. Uh, opening it up to the floor. Any questions? No? Okay, I have an anonymous one. To both candidates, can you speak to how your past CSA experiences will help you with the role of VPI? I've only had one experience on CSA, and that's sports coordinator. But I feel like me as sports coordinator, I got a lot of people who aren't normally involved with CSA out. And I feel like they're, a lot of them are more encouraged and mo feel more comfortable with the CSA. And I got a lot of them into the office, and a lot of them 
feel more like a friendly face. And I feel like that's exactly what I want to do as VPI and with the resources as VPI. And yeah. Sorry, do you mind repeating the question? Okay, I think I got the gist of it, yeah. Um, so, as I've mentioned, I have been involved since my first day here. Um, especially as the professional development coordinator for CSA, I've had the opportunity to plan a large variety of events. I mean, first I planned mock interviews, which I would also have the opportunity to oversee as VPI. This event worked more so with sponsors coming in and students having the opportunity to go in for a mock interview with them to better their themselves and to better their interview skills. In addition, I also planned a formal networking event called Etiquette Evening, which took place um, as a practice for business banquets, so students knew the proper etiquette um, and how to behave in such a formal networking event. And actually, coming up this March, I've got fashion show, so myself and my co-chair work with a fantastic organizing committee of nine, and then we are also working with 16 models, so I'm overseeing quite a large group right now, but that event is more of a casual networking event, and students can come out and have a good time, and they can see all of the different sides that CSA has to, to offer, so, yeah. Thank you. Uh, questions from the floor? All right, so seeing as this is a new position that was created this year, as a support function for advocacy and centralized HR, I just was wondering what your background is in human resources management and if you have any experience that you can add to this role. Thanks, Julia. So as I mentioned, I work with a committee of nine and as well as um, mo uh, 16 models. So as my position, I got to interview several people for the organizing committee. And what I chose was people who are motivated to do the job. Because if you take someone who is completely qualified to be there but doesn't have the drive to do it, and you take someone who wants to be there and who wants to give it their all, they will, they will put in the time. They will do the best that they can, and that's what I wanted to see. So, so for the past two summers, like I said earlier, I hired a group of fantastic individuals, young individuals like people here in the university. Uh, and I led that team to a successful season each year. And I feel like uh, there was a lot of hiccups within like conflicts between the people. And I feel like I've dealt with multiple different situations that will be similar to the university students as well. And I feel like I already have all that experience with HR and hiring and dealing with workplace issues, and that's why I feel like I'm qualified for the vice president internal role. Okay, I have a question for uh, Michelle. Uh, in response to Derek's 3,000 uh, hub night budget, where would you choose to put that money to use? Um, that's a fantastic question. Uh, there's a few areas that I would love to put that money. Um, the first one being conference funding. Um, I will actually be attending the Rocky Mountain Business Conference this upcoming February, and I, I am so excited and I can't wait to learn everything that has to offer, but this previous November I attended, I was um, a logistics member on the National Business School Conference Committee, and the things that I learned attending those sessions and the people I met and expanding my network like that, I just can't imagine not giving someone else those opportunities, so that's one of the places I would love to put that money. So with response to the conference funding, I too believe that people deserve the conference funding, which we already have in place. However, I feel like this $3,000 is for more than just the four people that go on this conference. This is for the 1,700 other students who can come out to these events and utilize, these, uh, utilize the resources the CSA has. I don't want to do like the few people that use these events. I want to help everyone the best I can, even if it's just a little bit. That's why I proposed the $3,000 budget. A question from the floor. 